Hey loves, welcome back to my channel once again. So on today's video guys, this is going to be a collaboration with my girl. You guys can see her right here. She is so amazing. I have found her, I would say last month and I have been loving her content. She's so amazing, so down to earth. And I truly appreciate for you guys to go ahead and subscribe to her channel. You guys will love her as much as I do. I can never say enough about her. She is so amazing, so supportive. I wanna say thank you so much girl for reaching out and doing this collaboration with me. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. So I'm gonna be listing down below all of her information if you guys want to go ahead and follow her so for this collaboration video guys we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette we're gonna be using the first palette I still don't have new palette of hers because of everything what's going on with the whole virus thing and I still didn't have the time and effort to go ahead and purchase that and yeah so please guys don't mind that so we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and also we're gonna be using our favorite products that we love to use during the springtime and yeah so so this is the look that I came up with today. So this is more like a little bit of smoky eye with a little bit of a pop of color on the bottom lash line as you guys can see. I wanted to do something different because I have done other videos during the spring and summertime and something to go back to school something very subtle something on the go if you guys want to see those videos are going to be listed down below of course i did one in spanish but again if you guys are interested everything is going to be listed down below if you guys want to see this collaboration a spring makeup look continue watching okay guys so before we even start with this video i already did cleanse and exfoliate my face and all of that good stuff so now i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face i already talked about this so so many times like this is my ride or die moisturizer i really really love to use this stuff and i truly recommend it to the t and i only recommend this only if you have combo to dry skin not so much if you have oily skin for example say that your face is very oily but then during fall or winter your face it turns very dry this is really good during that time for you guys to try it but this stuff looks amazing under the makeup like it gives it a nice beautiful complex finish of a look i really cannot get enough this is actually my third bottle that i ever bought i mean you can use it with or without makeup i mean it's your call i really really love to use this stuff but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start uh, dotting this on my face and I like to start on the middle of my face, which is my T-zone. With my two fingers, I like to distribute this all over my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a good few minutes. I really love my makeup. When I'm doing these kind of process, I do love like my moisture to sit for a good few minutes. So since that is sitting nicely on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'm not gonna be using a pomade because again, guys, this is going to be a spring look. So I want something subtle on my brows just to give it a little bit of definition on my brows. And I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild uh, Traceable Brow Pencil. And this one is in the shade Dark Brown. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean my brows and I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Get Ready Set Gorgeous and this one is in the shade DM Deep and dot this under the brows. And I'm going to be using uh, this brush right here. This one is a angled brush. Oh, I really don't have the name of this. I know this came from the Cargo palette. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning my brows. With my pinky, I'm going to start blending this. On the top of my brows, I'm going to go with a little bit of foundation. I'm going to go with a little bit of product with the same brush. And I'm gonna put a little bit of product on the back of my hand. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning on the top of my brows. Then again, I like to go ahead and go back with my finger. I like to blend it out really, really good. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna go ahead and use this essence. And this is just to keep the hairs in place. It gives it a nice, beautiful, graded look effect, as you guys can see. Those are two primers. The ultimate favorite, which is the Professional by Benefit. And this one is by Becca. And this one is called the First Light Primer Filler. I really, really love this stuff ever since Alice gave this to me. A shout out to you, girl. Thank you. And um, I'm going to be applying this on my T-zone the same way. I'm gonna go ahead and do the professional. 
so now I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a few minutes and then I'll come back to you guys okay guys so now for foundation I'm gonna be using this the L'Oreal true match a super blendable makeup and this one is in the shade sun beige w5 warm and guys i really really love this stuff ever since nicole guerrero has mentioned this in one of her videos i'm talking about like way way back in the og days if you guys know what i'm talking about this has been my ultimate favorite i always pick this up spring and summer this is my go-to favorite foundation of all time i can never get enough of this foundation it gives it a nice beautiful finish complex look and i truly recommend this and i am happy that this is still around and you guys can actually find this on your favorite drugstore i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with this brush this one is by its cosmetics this is a buffing brush start um dotting this all over my face I'm gonna go ahead and use this setting spray and this one is by Milani and this one is a make it last a little bit on the brush so now I'm gonna go ahead and start blending in pushing the product inside of my skin then looking up just to get the foundation in there just look all the way this foundation gives it a nice beautiful complex like Oh my god, I think this one is the best foundation from the drugs. If you guys want something for spring and summer, this is the foundation to go. Highlighting, I'm not gonna be highlighting, I'm just gonna be applying this under my eyes and I'm gonna be using this All May Smart Shade Concealer and this one is in the shade 20 Light Medium and guys, this gives it a nice beautiful complex under the eyes, especially I truly recommend for those who have like very bad dark circles. So I'm gonna give you guys a little quick review of this stuff. So a little bit goes a long way guys. So you guys see how the way this gives it like a white concealer look but don't worry guys this stuff is gonna turn into another color so when you guys blend this out look how this looks very beautiful like oh my god guys this is so perfect on the go if you guys need this i cannot say enough about it now i'm gonna go ahead and start highlighting just a little bit here on the eyes so now with my ring finger i'm gonna go ahead and start blending this out with my finger under my eyes same thing on the other eye highlighting the rest of my face i'm gonna be using this um l'oreal paris the infallible full wear more than a concealer and this one is in the shade 360 cashmere this one is by real techniques and this one is called the target blend brush just a little bit now i'm gonna go ahead and start blending this out these two concealers so this one is by jordana cosmetics and this one is in the shade toffee number 14 and i'm gonna be applying this on my contour areas so this is how the way i love to contour and now to balance out my contour i'm gonna go a little bit lighter on my nose and i'm gonna be using my all-time favorite which is the l'oreal true magic super blendable concealer and this one is in the shade medium i start blending my contour areas with the same foundation brush a little bit of that mist setting spray pushing the product in and i like to take it a little bit up just like so like that and then whatever I have left, I like to like push this towards my hairline, not on the middle of the um, forehead because it gives it that um, illusion, like not blending it very well, if, if this makes sense. So doing the same thing on this side. And then what's left over, I like to drag this and then doing the same thing 
So now with my nose, I like to use this side of the brush here. And then start blending this out. You guys can use any brush you guys want or you guys can blend it out with the beauty blender. It's your call. There's no wrong or right way when it comes to do makeup as long as you're comfortable with it. If you know it looks good on you, that's all that matters. And you guys need to make sure that this is very nice and blended. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite, which is the Hula Bronzer right here. And as you guys can see, I already hit pan. I really love to use this during the spring and summer. I can never get enough about this bronzer. This bronzer is a must, guys, if you haven't tried this yet. And with it, I'm going to be taking this Sonia Cat brush. Go ahead and start grabbing a little bit of that um, bronzer. And I'm going to be setting my bronzer just a little bit. Not too much, guys. Whatever I have left, I love to drag this down my neck. And then I'm going to be taking my favorite Morphe brush, E40 brush, grabbing a little bit of that product and contouring just a bit. And then blending out. And then with my finger, I always love to start blending this out. So now I'm going to go ahead and start setting my highlighting areas just a little bit, not too much, guys. So I'm going to be using this Black Radiance Cosmetics, and this one is in the shade Banana. So it looks something like this, Revolution Cosmetics. And I'm going to be tapping a little bit of that product, tapping out the axis, and just applying this on the under eye just a bit just to set everything and then under my chin my cupid's bow and on a little bit on my forehead Just like that and then with a big fluffy brush I'm gonna start on um, taking this product off like I said I'm not gonna be baking that much okay guys so now for a blush this Rimmel London maxi blush and this one is in the shade at third base real techniques blush brush and a little bit I'm applying this on my contouring areas same thing on the other side and whatever I have left over, I'm going to be distributing this all over. And then a little bit on my nose. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on with my eyes. And I'm going to be using this new Wet n Wild. And this one is the Rose Eyeshadow Primer. Blending this out. I'm going to be setting my eyes on BH Cosmetics number 12 brush. Tapping out the axis. And blending this and all over my eyes go ahead and be using the jacqueline hill palette now for my first transition color i'm going to be using this shade right here and i'm going to be putting the names on the screen because i don't want to mess up because i know it has it on the back i just want to concentrate when i'm picking up the colors and then applying it and i'm going to be putting the names on the screen and I'm going to be applying this on my crease. If you guys don't know where your guys' crease is at, you guys can always look down and just work with circular motions just looking down. And the brush is going to be doing all the magic for you guys. And I really love this pencil brush because it gets in there how the way um, this looks like. As you guys can see, it's very pointy, and I truly, truly recommend this brush. This is the number two brush. I mean, it's really old. As you guys can see, you guys can barely even see the number in there anymore. If you guys want to get these brushes, you guys can get them in a bundle. I don't think you guys can get these separately. I'm going to be putting a picture on the screen, the ones I'm talking about, and I'm going to be putting a link down below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase this brush i truly don't recommend their brushes the ones they have the metal because i bought some and they didn't last long to be quite honest with you guys but i really really love these brushes right here so i'm gonna go ahead and 
put this on the crease with the same brush I'm gonna be using this color right here tapping out the excess and I'm gonna be doing the same thing all the way around on my crease Okay guys, so now for my eyelids, I'm gonna be using this brush right here and guys, this has been my ride or die brush. I had these ever since I started to do makeup. These babies have been with me 11 years. I really, really recommend only these brushes, not the other ones, the big ones, like for the powder brushes, not those. I really recommend these. I had these for a long, long time. So I'm gonna be applying this color right here. On my lids I'm gonna be tapping this product on my eyelid if you want you can actually could um wet your brush with a little bit of setting spray but I'm not gonna be doing that but if you guys want to do that you guys could smush brush and it looks like this so now I'm gonna go ahead and start highlighting my brow bone and I'm gonna be taking this uh, color right here This one is by the It's Cosmetics and this one is called the Flawless Shadow. And gently with my hand, I'm going to be blending this really, really good. I'm the kind of person that I don't like any harsh line. Honest with you guys, that's the reason why you guys always see me blending. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna give a little tiny little bit of color on my outer corner. I'm gonna be using this brush right here and this one is by Bella Cosmetics number one, a 24 brush. And I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this color right here, just a tiny bit because I wanna still give a little bit of color. As you guys can see, this is how my brush is looking. Just like this, a tiny bit. And then tap the axis. And I'm going to be applying this on my outer corner just to give it a little bit of that smokiness. Just a tiny bit. Whatever is left over on the brush, you just drag it towards going a little bit on the inner third of the eye. If this makes sense. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back with my same blending brush and I'm going to be blending the edges. Waterline. I'm gonna be using this. This is one of my favorites. I really really love to use these for spring and summer during the daytime when I have makeup on and I already talked about this so so many times and this one is by NYX Cosmetics and this one is in the shade number seven and they have a whole variety of these pencils of pastel colors. I really love to use pastel colors under the eyes and not so much of a white because the white brings out your eyes even more but if you want something very fresh on the eyes and something very subtle, I truly recommend these pencils under the waterline. It is a pastel pink as you guys can see here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna swatch just a little bit for that way you guys can see. It looks something like this. the same color that we did for my brow bone which is this color right here with the same a brush my tear duct and with my pinky I'm gonna blend this out okay guys uh, just to give it that fun a little bit of color under my right here between my lash line color right here the Morphe M443 brush So now for blending out the, the bottom lash line, I'm going to be using this brush right here and this one is by BH Cosmetics. So now we're done with the eyes, so now I'm going to go ahead and use a mascara and this one is the Wet n Wild Mega Length in the shade Very Black. I'm going to add a little bit of few coats. my eyes are done I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite lashes from Cannababe and there is a discount code if you guys want to go ahead and use that the whole information is gonna be linked down below and I'm gonna use a something subtle in between not too dramatic it's gonna be in between these lashes right here which is called love potion 
right here I'm gonna go ahead and use the strip lash glue and this one is by kiss if you guys want to see how the way I apply lashes I actually explain very well how the way you guys could um, apply lashes so I'm gonna let that sit for a good few minutes to let the glue get tacky for me it takes like three seconds to for the glue to get very tacky so you want to open your eye and I always like to start on the middle and then working on my outer corner and then on my inner corner so I put this on my very natural lash line just like so as you guys can see both lashes are on lips I really love to use this lipstick I don't think they don't have it anymore but if you guys find this you guys are very lucky I just love how this nude lipstick it's very subtle it's not that too harsh but this does not have a name this is in the number 92 C as in cat and I'm gonna be doing a little swatch for you guys how the way this looks like it looks something like this but when you guys apply this on your guys's lips it looks very nice very simple and then i'm gonna go a little bit with that box um, this one is in the shade of pink champagne okay guys so now for highlighting my face i'm gonna be using the wedding wild featuring fergie and guys this has been my very first highlighting that i ever bought and also it's one of my all-time favorites i really love to use this all year round and i can never get enough of it and this one is in the shade rose of champagne i really really love this color so so much and it looks something like this so i'm gonna be demonstrating right here this is so subtle very nice i really love the glow of it it's not very harsh and that's one of the reasons why i love this highlighting because like on your face if this makes sense if you guys want something subtle so i'm going to be applying that with this morphe brush and this one is the m510 brush that's my glow as you guys can see it gives it a nice beautiful subtle glow at the complex of it but it's very nice I really love it and that's that and just to like set this whole thing just to make it last lock it in I'm gonna be using this Milani make it last setting spray and by the way this smells so delicious I do go back with my brush just to like tap the axis Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys love this spring makeup look that I came up with today with a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of puff of color on the bottom lash line. And please guys, don't forget to show love and support to my girl. I'm gonna be putting her right here for that way you can just click right there. It will take you straight to her YouTube channel. Again, all of her information is gonna be listed down below. Everything what you guys see on this video specific. And like always guys, please like, comment, and share. And also if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below and hit the bell notification that way you guys won't miss any of my new videos. And also be part of my journey that will mean the world to me if you do. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon on my next video. Bye, guys.